See, isn't this room amazing? I wouldn't ever dare lie to my sweet little angel anyways. I told you so. Mm, what are you waiting for? Don't just stand there. Have a look around. Oh, you don't want to. Mm, are you sure? Look, you can at least lay down on the comfy bed here. It's uh, pretty late after all, but it's up to you. Since you know you won't have to go to school tomorrow. And neither will I. Oh, which means we can both just enjoy each other's company all night long. We could play games. We could watch some shows or we can maybe tell each other scary stories. No? Mm, well, okay then. <sighs> Do you want something to eat? Mm. Oh, come on, my angel. Don't be so shy around me. If there's something you want, tell me. I swear, I'll make it happen. <sighs> Don't say that. You know that's the only thing I can't do for you. I can't just let you leave on me. Why would you want to leave? Why would you even think about leaving? There's everything you could ever need in here. Besides, I know you don't want to go to school. Think about it this way. Now that you're here, you'll have a really, really, really good excuse for not going. And I will also have a really good excuse for not going. Because I'm taking care of my dream girl. Oh, the things I would do for you. You couldn't even begin to imagine. So, since you don't want to really do anything in here with me, um, do you have any questions for me? You can ask me anything, and I won't tell a single lie. Sounds fun, right? Mm-hmm. So, what do you want to know about me? Why do I love you so much? Oh, isn't that obvious already? Fine, I'll tell you. Well, you see, I didn't really pay any attention to you at first. But, but that was because I never really talked to you. But then, but then, it all started when I saw you face to face on the bus. Yeah, on the bus to school. I was so embarrassed because you, you caught me staring at you. So I quickly looked away. So I don't know if you remember, but I do. I didn't know what to do. Your eyes were so pretty. I just had to look away. But after that, it was then, right there, I grew interest in you. So I just watched over you until days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. And over time, I just realized how kind you were, always seeing you help those in need. You were such a beautiful person inside and out that I just fell in love with you. But I just kept watching you in secret. 
truth is, I wanted to talk to you, but every time I tried, every time I tried to talk to you, you were always with some other guy. It broke my heart. But I thought, oh, that's okay. I'll just wait until tomorrow. But then it happened again. You were with another guy. And it just kept on happening over and over. So I just kept watching you. Kept on watching you and watching you and watching you. Just waiting for the right moment to tell you how much I loved you. To tell you everything I felt for you with the fear of being rejected. I didn't care as long as I could finally let my emotions out. But then, I saw how sad you were after being turned down by that one, one guy. Then I thought to myself, why her? Why can't things go her way? Why does she have to be so sad? Who would pass up on such a beautiful angel like her? I got so angry at the world and my heart just ached even more for you. So I made a promise to myself to always love and protect you. You might be mad at me, scared at me, but I can't see you broken down like that again. I'd rather you be angry and scared of me than to be sad by yourself. I'm selfish that way. I'm selfish, okay? And I'm sorry. Hey. You can go. I said you can go. You can leave if you want. If, if that's really what you want but if you leave just know that I'll be sad I won't stop you though so leave if you want why am I letting you go do you even need to ask that it's because I love you dummy now go before I change my mind Why aren't you leaving? Aren't you scared of me? Isn't this what you want? To get away from here? You... You want to stay with me? Really? Really? You don't know how happy I am to hear that. Oh, I love you. I love you. Hey, your tummy is grumbling. I will... I will get us some food. Okay? And, um... I'm going to actually not lock you up in here. I'm going to trust you for sure this time. Okay? Oh. Please don't look at me like that. <sighs> Sweetheart, you can trust me this time. I promise my home is your home. And um, feel free to do whatever you want in the meantime. You can have a lot of fun here. Um, you can take a nap, or play games, watch a show, whatever you want. Do you understand me? Okay. Oh, and I will be back in, let's see, half an hour, maybe 
sooner. I'll make sure to bring us something tasty to eat. I love you. Oh, and also, I hope you're not fooling me. Otherwise, I really will lock you up for good. Pinky promise. <laughs> okay, I will see you soon.